Well, we survived the horde, but not without a cost. This base definitely took a beating. Luckily, nothing on the crafting side actually fell over. Let's get to looting up these bags here real quick. And then we got to come up with a game plan. Before this horde night, I was on the fence about whether we wanted to head straight to the snow biome. And I don't, I don't think we're ready yet. So here's the plan. We're going to work on getting ourselves an auger and mining as much material as we can to possibly reinforce this, survive the next horde night. Now, since we're up against that clock, we're going to have to low dip in the snow biome and going to have to make a very fast horde base just to survive a single horde there and then move on to the wasteland. To get this done, we're going to head out east into the city. I marked a crack of books on the map that's pretty close to Trader Wreck. So we'll go raid that. We'll complete the quest that we've got outstanding on the way there. Hit up Trader Wrecked and see if he's got anything interesting. And hopefully that'll position ourselves to be able to get an auger in play by tomorrow to start mining. I went ahead and stashed all of our loot back in the base and we are off to this first quest. And here we are at the Ruau residence, I guess it is. We'll plow through this quick so we can get over to crack -a books. That was a pretty straightforward clear now just to pick up some of the goodies that we get here. Let's see what we can find in the safe. Some sharp sticks books that we don't really need and a book we've already read. Check the bookcases. Wiring. Forge ahead scrapping. Those are both good. Three forge ahead books. Not really what we want. Electrical is kind of the key one that we're working on. You know what? I totally forgot to spend points. Let's go ahead and put a few points into strength. We're going to go into minor 69 or so once we get that auger, we can use it a little bit more effectively. And I think we'll save the last point so that we can get another point into strength and loot time. We've had bad luck here and that's is all very mediocre. Yeah, nothing great there. Little 762 that we're not going to probably use some honey. Poppin' pills, what you got for me? Med kit, that's always good. The bar brawler book, whatever. And savage country. Solid meh. Okay, and loot wasn't the greatest. Let's head over to crack of books and see what all we can learn inside. Now y'all see me do this several times at this point, so we're gonna make this quick. Now I gotta say, I don't recommend this method, but we're just gonna place down the two turrets, round up all the zombies here, and just circle them around the turrets. Let Tyson and his little big brother, whatever, do some work while we slap them around. Now that we've got all the zombies down, we'll go ahead and clean the place up. And when I get to end loot, I'll show you all the books that we ended up collecting in here. So with that room cleaned up, we'll head out to the back. Take care of these last two construction guys. Just stay down there, buddy. Good job. All right, check in this door here. So I do believe there's typically a safe, which there is nothing in that. In the safe, uh, the bow is an upgrade, I think from what we currently have. So we'll take that some more 762, a diamond, a couple more books. Now we just got to clear out the roof and grab the end loot. We know there's going to be a bird up here somewhere. I see over there. We'll just reload the shotgun. Nicely timed shot. A couple guys are always hiding right in here. Okay, just one hoodie guy. Oh, nope, just kidding. There's the other one. <laughs> okay, let's just put that in front of the door. We know there's going to be a dog in here. Master, we are not alone. Yep. Well, we shot him in his haunch, but oh, he's taken care of. Anything in the bag? Oh, that'll sell. Level six scrap armor, anything else up here? I don't think so. I think it's time to loot. Grab the rest of this here real quick. Some more books. Open these up. I like that we can single hit with the power attack on those. That makes life much easier. All right, we're gonna dump a little bit of stuff off in here. 
I know that I overcomplicated my looting, but I like to be able to show you all at the end of raids like this, the, the total collection of books that we got. So I'm trying not to read them as I go through the, through the POI. All right, I think that's everything up here. So we'll head down to the bike, actually a little last bit of food. So we'll go ahead and just eat those so that we're not worrying about carrying them. That'll compensate for the dehydration from the burnt meat. Off the roof we go. Incoming enemies, prepare and the conflict. there's a doggo. All right, let's go get rid of the doggo and then I'll show you all the books that we just collected. There we go, down puppy. We'll go ahead and harvest him up. Oh my God, he's dropping bags everywhere. Okay, I guess we should read stuff first. All right, let's get started here. We've got one explosive mags, three scrapping mags, five electrical and five wiring. That's gonna really set us ahead on base defenses. Next, we've got four forge ahead. We don't have much left to unlock here, but eventually this will allow us to make a crucible. Not that we need more particularly. 11 tool mags, yes. Let's see where this gets us up to. There's steel tools quality four, steel tool quality five, not enough to get that auger. Oh wait, nope, we did get it. Mechanical tools, volume one. There's an armor, there's two handguns, there's tactical warfare, a couple seeds, which we... Oh geez, get off my dog. All right, we'll go ahead and pick these up and harvest the rest of him up. Leave me alone, buddy, I'm learning here. Oh, there we go, level 46. We got two skill points to spend also. We'll get those in a second. Let's go back to the books. One vehicle mag, one cooking, a couple sharp sticks, one knife, great heist volume one, or better augering damage to safes, a couple seed mags, hunter journal volume four, which is mountain lion damage, night stalker seven, which is gonna be 50% sneak damage on sleeping targets, machine gunner we already know, Handful of repair mags. We already have a nail gun, so not that great. Four grip, not bad. Magnum Forcer five lets us make AP ammo. Furious fits, we don't care. Rifle, we probably don't care. And that looks like about it. So let's go ahead and head on over to Trader Rex and see if he's got anything interesting for sale. I've got a bad feeling about this. You always have a bad feeling. And here we are back at everyone's favorite asshole. Correct, I'm coming in, pull out all the good stuff. The ideal thing we're looking for here is more magazines so that we can progress in several areas. It might be picking up some of this food stuff that he's got here, but let's see everything that he's got. Honey, nothing major there. We'll probably pick up the cobblestone rocks. Not a lot in terms of magazines, maybe the explosives mag and the cooking mag. Ooh, there we go, folks. There is a second crucible that is worth picking up just so that we can have both forges running with crucibles. And we do have the funds to get that. Let's just see if he's got some awesome sauce for sale over here. He's got sugar butts, so we'll take those. And we'll go ahead and take the rock busters because we're gonna do that mining expedition. And there's the awesome sauce we were hoping for. Perfect. All right, let's pop, pop the meds real quick here. Go ahead and sell off these last few little items that we picked up on our pathway across town and then we'll pick up that crucible and the books and not too shabby for a random sell off that's about 5k dukes we just added so that pays for a good chunk of the crucible so we'll pick that up and then go back to the mags maybe we will go ahead and pick up the rifle mags just because they're hella cheap right now so we'll snag those we're not going into clubs or sledges we'll take the explosives we'll take the cooking and we'll take the seeds because you never know, we might end up growing stuff. Probably not, but on the offshoot, it's cheap. I know we also wanted to pick up the cobblestone that's here. I don't think steel's worth buying at that rate with us having two crucibles, but 39 duct tape for that price, perfect. Onto the cobblestone, we'll go ahead and snag that. And then we'll just pick up pretty much all the food that he has so that we can continue to make meat stew and things like that. Well, that stop was definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and make our way back home. Actually, before we get out here, let's just empty up our inventory a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and read the books that we just picked up. So there's three rifle books, one explosive mag, one cooking mag, and a couple of seed mags. Now, before we head off, I did wanna check progress on crafting skills overall. The big ones to check are still harvesting and then vehicles. So we wanna get to that four by four. So we need about 16 more mags here. 
Workstation wise, we just have the Crucible left to unlock, which is not a big deal. SMG turret would be really nice for base defenses. And then power doors are going to be really nice for more advanced bases as we get into the snow biome. Seeds, I just don't know that we'll ever get a chance to farm. And it looks like we're fully capped out on food other than the really, really high end stuff. Robotics is capped. Harvesting looks like we're 10 mags off of getting to a level two auger. But otherwise, we're in pretty damn good shape. Let's uh, head on back to the base. We'll stop if we see anything interesting along the way, but the idea is just to kind of head home and collect any mags we see along the way. And we did not make it far. Here is another crack of books, and I just can't turn it down, folks. I can't. We'll check and make sure that we haven't looted this one previously. And if we haven't, this one is going to be another prime opportunity for us to just stack up on magazines and progress further. Okay, let's just peek our heads in the door here. And it looks like it's unlooted. So we're going to take the same approach we did to the last one. We're going to slap down a couple turrets here, see if we can round up everyone. Wake up, folks! Wake up! <laughs> just try to clear them out before we hit 2200 so that we're not dealing with them moving extra fast. All right, the front room's clear. We're going to head straight out back. We'll do looting absolutely last. So we know there's always a couple people back in this truck out here. Soldier boy's down. Buddy boy just went for the electric ride. But he's not down for the count, but he is now. Okay, let's get in here. Backpack has some BDUs, nothing that useful. We'll snag all the books here and then go ahead and head on upstairs. Should be just a few zombies left to deal with. And then we'll loot the entire downstairs. There's a section right here where the end loot will be. I don't need these folks dropping in us in the middle of the night though. We only have 30 minutes left till nightfall officially hits. All right, we've removed Arlene from the equation. Everything looks clean up here. Let's get inside. You know, I actually like this position up here. Let's just drop Tyson and his little big brother. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually, folks. I don't know why they're going for that back door. There must be a pathway that they can think that they can get to me. Speaking of not knowing, I'm also a little bit confused on what Damon is doing with this choice of music. He tends to be a total asshole, but his music is uh, not the worst. All right, you two stay on down there. Give you a little spanking. Is that everybody? Uh, nope, you're still up. Today. Let's grab this turret, put it in front of the door. We'll deal with the last few outside. Don't need them coming from behind as we're checking out the loot that we've got here. Man, look at screaming. All right, let's see what we got for us here. Box number one. There we go, some tools digest. That's exactly what we want. Next book. Forge ahead, not super useful. One scrapping mag and a duplicate. Let's see what we get in here. Ooh, treasure map. That'll be fun for later. The rest of that's mediocre at best. Let's grab the turret up and we'll check the rest of the building. Another box here. Not really what we're looking for. Ideally, what we're looking to find here are the tools digest. Electrical books would be good. Wiring books are good. My senses have picked up something. Yep, I hear someone fumbling around in here. What were you doing hiding behind the counter there? I'm not sure if she was behind the counter or came in through the window. All right, she's down. We're going to go back to loot in the place. There's some tools books, more tools books. Good stuff. Um, I'm busy. Okay, but I guess I'll accept it since you brought me some loot. A little bit of ammo, a little bit of healing, a little bit of drink. Not too bad. All right, overall, that was decent. Nowhere near the big crack of book store. I don't know that those cafe stores are super useful in situations like this. The ratio of, of books slash mags that you have there versus the amount of space that you got to go through might not be worth it. Let's go ahead and clear out these last few zombies and make our way home. And we should have all the stuff that we need to put an auger together. All right, eat the quite a fly. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Now we just have to stay on track and focus and not stop at every place that we see along the way. And 
And of course, as soon as I turn the bike around, I'm going to eat those words because there's a working stiffs right here and we could potentially get a few more tools mags and maybe make higher than a level one auger. So let's clear these folks out out front here real quick. Good evening, Mo. Sorry about that. And your brother, Mo. So overall, the trip to Working Stiffs was pretty uneventful and we didn't find a lot in terms of mags. So we're going to head back into the base here. We're going to empty out everything that we got from our travels. Luckily, those new mods that Ani installed have made this very easy because we can just take everything up and have it automatically dump to stacks in the containers around us, which is super easy to grab everything off the drone and the bike and then just store it back. Back when I was trapped on the Undead Legacy server, it was nice where we could craft con from containers, but this being able to push it back in the other direction is really nice. All right, there's the Crucible. Now we've got both of the forges loaded with Crucibles. All right, do this last bit of inventory, man. Oh, we pulled that in the wrong direction. No. Okay, we got to push everything back now. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. All right, we'll have to deal with, we've got some friendlies outside or some not so friendlies. I don't know, maybe they're here for breakfast. Let's go ahead and clear out this wandering horde real quick and then we'll get our auger going and then hopefully get a good solid day of mining in here. No loot from the Wandering Horde, but it was a nice morning wake up. We're going to grab all the water from the dew collectors, and then we'll get back in and get back to crafting work. Okay, let's go ahead and get cement cranking in the left forge and then steel in the right forge. And then we'll go check out what we need for that auger. And it looks like we need motorcycle handlebars and unfortunately another engine. So let's get the motorcycle handlebars going and then we'll head over to Hugh, turn in the last quest that we finished off and then head out and try to find ourselves an engine yet again. Now we know that there's several cop cars in close vicinity, so I might check those out. Let's go ahead and grab rock busters and we'll also grab those hackers to get more parts and pieces. Hopefully that gives us a better chance at picking up the engine. Anything here? Nope. Man, it got dark really quick. All right, Hugh, what do you have for rewards? There's the crafting skill mag bundle, which we'll likely pick up. So we'll get that. And then maybe the antibiotics, just so we don't have to craft more. That's probably the best bet of what we have here. Otherwise, it's the baseball bat to sell back to Hugh. Let's just go ahead and pick up the antibiotics, call it a day. And then we'll pick up one more quest that we probably will ignore for today. Let's see what you got. Shady swine. We don't need more meat. We're really good on food. So let's just check another one out here. Fetch clear. These residents tend to have a lot of books. So we'll go ahead and run with that one. And then lastly, let's just check and see what he has. Anything that we need to buy before trader resets occur. Level five solar cells. Not bad, but man, we can't afford to carry that. We'll go ahead and get the cobblestone and the cement. Anytime we can buy these rather than right. the having to create them, a lot easier. Let's go ahead, though, and make sure that we have the Magnum equipped and then go back and snag this. There we go. A little bit more cement. And then we'll just check out what he has in terms of books. And we'll go ahead and take the cooking mag here. We'll also take the explosions mag and the forge ahead if we've got the money for it. Thank you kindly, Hugh. Appreciate the learning material. Well, you're gonna buy. Let's let go ahead and pop open that book out. bundle that we just got, see what we get out of that. Ooh, Tools Digest, very, very nice. And that unlocks Mechanical Tools Quality 2. That means we can make a level two auger. That was perfect. And Contact Grenades unlocked, not too shabby. Let's move on to Engine Collection. And you know what, we'll stop at this uh, police car right here. And we're going to try that trick that uh, chat had mentioned before, and that's to try to pick the car first and then loot it. And then we can break it down without calling in all the cops and all the nasty irradiated zombies. That one, unfortunately, didn't have an engine and we went through a lot of lock picks. We're down to four. Never mind. We're down to no lock picks. So we'll go ahead and do it the old fashioned way. Summon in all the zombies. Let's get rid of the cop first, because last time he blew up the car. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, we just want to keep them. Well, I shouldn't have probably put the turrets over here. I should have moved them well away from the car so we could pivot away from it. Stamina suffering a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Let's switch to the shotgun. 
We hit him just in enough time to interrupt that puke. And we are clear. Let's let's get that sound to stop ASAP. That is super annoying. All right. Now, before we blow up the car, let's go ahead and search some 762. A little bit of stuff we're not going to use. No engines. Now we're going to just start moving around the map. No engine there. No engine there. Move on to the next spot. How about this car? Nope. Not here either. Still going. Nope. Not that truck. Still going. How about this car? Nope. What about this truck? Nope. Good Lord. How about this car? This one's got to have it. Uh, no. And uh, this car? Come on. No. <laughs> Come on. Semi truck? Nope. What about pickup truck? Maybe it's just sitting in the back of the truck. N nope. All right. Let's go ahead and break the truck down. That one. No. Forklift. Success! We finally have an engine! <laughs> oh my god. All right, back to base. Well, that took up way more time than I was expecting in the day. Let's go ahead and get some handlebars crafted, and now we can get the auger cooking. All right, there's our auger. We'll want to get a motor tank for it. Let's see if we have anything in inventory over here. Let's just go ahead and check real quick. Uh, no existing mods for it. But we should be able to make, I think we can either make the large or the small uh, motor tank. So let's just check. Cannot make the large tank. Let's check the small tank. There we go. We can make the motor tool small tank. That just allows us to go a little bit longer without having to refill and fills a mod slot. So we'll let wait for those to both craft. We also want to get the robotic turret up and running. But I think we're going to need a little bit more glue and a little bit more duct tape. We've got 14 in the hopper right there. We're just going to get some more glue up and crafting. So we've been kind of collecting bones as we've been running around. So we can make another 33 glue. Water we're not struggling with at all. We've been pulling off the dew collectors. Plus we've been finding murky water all over the place. Toilets and good stuff like that. And in terms of the robotic turret, let's see what it's going to take. Plenty of parts. We need a little bit more steel, it looks like. A little bit more duct tape, but we're currently making some of that. And otherwise, we're in pretty good shape. Now, we should have steel in the forge, which you do. There was 184, so we'll grab that. Now, duct tape production is completed, so we'll go ahead and get that crafting. I'm not going to sit around and wait for that to get done. We only have so many hours left in the day. We're going to pull the mods off of our existing mining bits. And then we'll push those over to the auger. And then hopefully in the meanwhile, we also have that small tank mod that finishes it up. So we should be able to fill up all four mod slots and be in good shape here. And there is our last mod. Let's go ahead and alter that real quick. Add on the small tank. And then we will have this fully modded out and ready to get drilling. So I marked a spot over to the west of here where I saw two or three iron nodes right next to each other. My goal is to get a hefty amount of iron. We're also going to want to get lead so that we can make some AP ammo for the new robotic turret. We need stone to increase the amount of concrete that we have. And then also I want to get a little bit more shale because when we leave the desert, we will no longer have access to shale. So I am going to down some rock busters and uh, we're going to get busy here. Well, it looks like the zombie showed up with a noise complaint, so we're just going to have to make some more noise. <laughs> you like that hoodie boy? Yep, y'all just go hang out down in the hole down there. I got things to do. Oh, he's coming back out. Come here, Mo. And Bo. One last guy. There we go. 
All right, maybe we take this moment to relocate at a different spot because we do need to find some lead. And then we also need to go ahead and pick up some shale. So let's actually go hit the other mining area that we have first. Let's drop some stuff off in the bike right here. And then we're gonna go over to the existing shale spot that we have because it's already pretty mined out and we know exactly where everything is. And that's the wrong direction. Just kidding, let's head back this way. I've already made a few stacks of gas back at base, so we don't need an extreme amount, but I wanna make sure that as we're mining, we're at least upkeeping the amount that we're using. And we also need to be forward thinking because as we transition over to the 4x4, that one consumes a whole lot more fuel than the motorcycle, so we'll have to be ready for that. So there's another 5k shale in the bucket. We're just gonna head over here and finish the evening off with a little bit of lead mining so that we can get that sweet AP ammo on the robotic turret for tomorrow. So we did get a late start on the mining, but I will consider that a successful day. We've got a good amount of material to work with, easily enough to reinforce the base, but unfortunately not enough for us to make an early jump over to the snow biome. That's kind of what I was hoping for, but I wasn't expecting us to spend the amount of time that we did looking for the engine. I'm gonna get a little rest and we will regroup in the morning. Hey folks, looks like Dr. Echo is not gonna get out of the desert biome that fast. So we're gonna have to stay and reinforce the base and see if we can hold up to that next Horde Knight, which is gonna make the next few even more shaky. So we'll see how that goes, but I'll see you on the next one. A huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters over here. Take care all, much love, be good.